In this Photoshop tutorial, you're going to learn about one of the most powerful hidden tools in Photoshop called Actions that will help you save time and repeat processes in the click of a button. So let's say I'm working on a composition like this photo and I want to create a cool poster design or something. So I'm going to take my photo layer, go to Select Subject, a really neat tool that Photoshop has to automatically create a selection. And I'm going to right click Layer via Cut and I'll just hide that cutout layer. So now we have our cutout subject on a background layer of our choice. Now let's say we wanted to do something cool like create an outline or a stroke that repeats itself. One way I can do this is by holding command and clicking on our layers content icon. That'll just select everything within that layer again. And what I'll do is go to select, modify, expand, and I'll expand out 10 pixels just to get a little bit of breathing room. And I'll right click. Actually, let's do this on a new layer just to be a little clean. So layer, new layer, and I'll right click, stroke, and I can use whatever color I want. So I'll just do a white five pixel stroke on the outside of that selection. And when I press OK, this is what that looks like. So we get this white outline. Now, what if I wanted to just do this a bunch of times? I wouldn't want to go to select, modify, expand, and then do 10 pixels, and then right click and stroke again, and repeat until we filled the entire frame. What we'll do in this case is use the power of Photoshop Actions. So if I go to Window, Actions, I can open up the Actions panel. And there's a lot of preset actions that are in Photoshop already that do stuff. But the cool part is we can press this plus icon on the bottom to create a new action. We can name this whatever I want. So let's just call it Repeated Outline. And I'll press Record. So as soon as you start pressing Record, be careful of what you click. Photoshop is now listening to everything that you click and it's going to save it in this action. So we have to be precise. Let's just go to Select, Modify, Expand. And we're going to expand it by 10 pixels. Press OK. So it recorded that we expanded 10 pixels. And then we're going to right click, Stroke, and we're going to do our stroke, whatever settings we have here. And press OK. So now we have an expand and a stroke, and I'll just hit the stop recording button. And now we have our action here. We can drop it down to see what's in there. And all that we'll have to do is make sure we have the selection active and the, we're on the right layer that we want. But essentially now I can just press play on this action as many times as I want. And I can save a whole bunch of time to create this expanding outline effect. Now maybe I might want to change the the settings a bit if I if I don't want it so close together, but it's not going to be difficult to create a new action with different settings if I want. Now this is just one example of an action, but you can really do so many things with actions once you get the basic idea of how they work to solve problems in your own Photoshop workflow. So here's some other actions that are existing just preset, just for example. Here's one that automatically adds a frame or border under your photo. Uh, and the, another cool thing about actions is there's a feature in Photoshop called File, Automate, and you can go to Batch. So let's say I have 20 photographs open in Photoshop and I want to apply the same action to all of them. Maybe it's a, a color correction or like this frame or a crop or a border. I would just have to go to my batch menu, choose the action that I want to apply to all of them, and I can choose a folder on my desktop or whatever is open in Photoshop, and then I can choose to save them or send them to a folder and basically do a batch edit on a bunch of photos using the power of actions. So this has just been a brief introduction to actions and how to create this cool outline effect and uh, a little preview on to what you can do. If you like, you can check out many more tutorials and ideas in the Photoshop playlist on my channel, as well as subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new videos on tutorials and other things. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.